Ribbon fiber reinforcement was introduced in 1991 by Dr. David Rudo. Dr. Rudo originally invented Ribbon to prevent composite resin and acrylics from breaking. Since its introduction, the Ribbon company has made various improvements, making the material thinner, easier to use, and with higher strength qualities. Ribbon fiber reinforcement prevents fracture failures in dental composite resins and acrylics. Ribbon saves both the patient and the dentist time and money by preventing costly remakes. The use of Ribbon is a variation of the same fiber composite laminate science used in high-tech industry to make airplane body components, boat hulls, and tennis rackets. Ribbon is made from the same high-strength polyethylene fibers used to make bulletproof vests. It is woven using a patented cross-link lock stitch lena weave and is treated to bond using a cold gas plasma treatment. Ribbon Dental Applications Ribbon is used for periodontal splints, direct and indirect bridges, post-orthodontic fixed retainers, composite restorations, anatomic post and cores, trauma stabilization, and acrylic reinforcement and repairs. What does Ribbon do? Ribbon prevents dental composite resins and dental acrylics from breaking. Dental resins have high compressive strengths but are weak when subjected to tensile forces. Fibers behave in the opposite manner. They are effective in resisting tensile forces but do not provide compressive resistance. When used together, the fibers and the composite resins complement each other to make a structure that resists both compressive and tensile forces. The purpose of Ribbon is to prevent fracture failures in the resin caused by tensile forces. You can see how Ribbon prevents fracture failures in these videos. Shown here is a model of an unreinforced composite resin bridge framework and a Ribbon reinforced bridge framework. To emphasize the effectiveness of the Ribbon, we made the composite bridge framework significantly thicker than the Ribbon bridge framework. The unreinforced composite broke quickly and without much force. The Ribbon reinforced bridge did not break after significantly more force was applied to it. As you can see, Ribbon prevents fracture failure. How long do Ribbon prostheses last? Structures fail where they are weakest, not strongest. Just as a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, the strength of the dental structure is determined by its weakest part. Ribbon prevents fracture failures, so instead of breaking, probably over 99% of the structure failures of Ribbon prostheses are debonding failures. We often get asked the question of, how strong is Ribbon, or how long does a Ribbon prosthesis last? Since debonding is the mode of failure, our response is to ask the dentist, how good are your bonding skills? In general though, we expect most Ribbon prostheses to last for many years. How is Ribbon packaged? Ribbon starter kits include three 22 centimeter lengths of material, which combined is of course a total of 66 centimeters. Ribbon is available in two millimeters, three millimeters, four millimeter widths, and the Ribbon Orthodontic, which is one millimeter wide. It is enough material to make approximately 21 K9 to K9 periodontal splints, 25 to 30 single pontic three unit lingual bonded anterior bridges, or 60 to 70 composite restorations. A unique feature of Ribbon is that it has an indefinite shelf life. As long as the material is stored in its protective packaging, the material will maintain its bondability indefinitely, even after it is opened. Special scissors. Most scissors will not cut ribbon, and special high quality stainless steel scissors are included in the starter kits. The ultra high molecular weight polyethylene fibers used to make ribbon are also used to make bulletproof vests. Unlike glass fibers that are brittle, the advantage of using these super tough fibers is that the mode of failure of a ribbon prosthesis is not fracture failures. Because these fibers are so tough, normal scissors do not cut the ribbon. It is highly encouraged that a dentist's first order be for a starter kit so that they can cut the material cleanly without leaving any stray uncut fibers. The Ribbon scissors are also autoclavable. Refills Ribbon refills contain the same amount of material as the starter kits but do not include the special scissors. Refills include either three 22 centimeter lengths of material or one 68 centimeter long length. Differences between Ribbon Original, Ribbon THM, and Ribbon Ultra. The Ribbon Company introduced the Ribbon Original in 1991, the Ribbon THM in 2000, and most recently the Ribbon Ultra in 2013. These materials are offered in the same widths and lengths, and the techniques for use are the same. The main difference is their thicknesses. 
The Ribbon Original is 0.35 millimeters thick. The Ribbon THM is 0.18 millimeters thick, and the Ribbon Ultra is 0.12 millimeters thick. The thinner materials are easier to use and result in less bulky and more comfortable prostheses for the patients. Counterintuitively, the thinner versions have higher strength qualities. For these reasons, the Ribbon Ultra is the most popular Ribbon product, followed by the Ribbon THM. In the USA, we sell very little of the Ribbon Original, as it is the thickest and most bulky of these three Ribbon versions. The chemical composition of the fibers used to make all three versions is identical. The thinner versions are made using a higher concentration of thinner and finer fibers. Ribbon compared to other reinforcements. How is Ribbon different than using a metal wire or a mesh? Fiber reinforcements are far more effective at preventing fracture failures than metal wires or meshes. Fibers are used to reinforce industrial resins to make tennis rackets, boat hulls, and airplane body components, such as the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350. Metal meshes and metal wires are not used for these industrial applications, as they are not effective reinforcements. When using metal wire or meshes, the dentist relies on a large bulk of composite resin to provide strength. Even then, the mode of failure of a bulky metal wire or metal mesh reinforced dental prosthesis is still fracture failure. A ribbon prosthesis is very thin and comfortable for the patient and much more fracture tough, resulting in much greater clinical longevity. Furthermore, ribbon is much easier to use than trying to bend a metal mesh or wire. Ribbon compared to other fiber reinforcements. Manageability. The most obvious difference between Ribbon and other fiber reinforcements is its manageability and ease of use. Ribbon has virtually no memory and does not unravel when cut and adapted to the teeth. These videos demonstrate Ribbon's superior manageability in comparison to other dental fiber reinforcements. Other materials either unravel when adapted or have too much memory, which makes them difficult to use and do not allow for a close adaptation of the fibers against the teeth. Thick bond lines compromise clinical longevity by decreasing the shear strength of the composite resin layer between the fibers and the teeth. Having virtually no memory allows for a close placement of the ribbon fibers against the teeth. Close placement not only results in thinner and more comfortable prostheses for the patients, but also results in thin bond lines between the fibers and the surfaces of the teeth. Just like a porcelain veneer or orthodontic bracket, Close placement of the fibers against the teeth maximizes clinical results. Please see the video on the Ribbon website that describes the mechanisms in which fiber reinforcements work and compares Ribbon to other materials. Strength and Fracture Toughness Dentists sometimes ask how strong is a particular dental material without realizing that there are many different qualities that define strength. To understand strength, we have to know what particular quality of strength relates to the expected mode of failure. We designed Ribbon to be strong in the strength quality that material scientists value the most in a fiber reinforcement. This is the quality of fracture toughness. Fracture toughness is the quality of a material to resist the rapid propagation of cracks. Marketers of glass fiber reinforcements sometimes try to use flexural strength and flexural modulus, which are measurements of stiffness, to try to suggest clinical performance. However, any structural engineer will tell you that it is easier to design a structure for stiffness using non-stiff materials than it is to design a structure for fracture toughness using non-fracture tough materials. In other words, structural mode of failure tends to not be due to a lack of stiffness, but rather is due to a lack of fracture toughness. Why is Ribbon the most fracture tough dental fiber reinforcement? The same fibers used to make ribbon are used to make bulletproof vests. Glass fibers are not used for the very simple reason that they are brittle and not fracture tough. This video demonstrates that by simply bending a glass fiber reinforcement back and forth that the glass fibers can break. The glass fibers are not fracture tough. As these videos show, this is not the case with ribbon. Ribbon's patented lock stitch lena weave reinforces in multiple directions. Because of the mechanical interlocking of one thread to the next, any crack propagation in the resin is stopped. Unidirectional fiber orientations or loosely braided materials lack these mechanical connections of one thread to the next and therefore do not prevent cracks from propagating parallel to the direction of the fibers. 
Ribbond has an ideal bond strength of the fibers to resin. Marketers of glass fiber reinforcements suggest that high bond strengths of glass fibers to dental resins is a positive feature for their materials. These marketers take advantage of the fact that people in the dental industry generally equate high bond strengths to mean better clinical results. Although high bond strengths are desirable for bonding resin to teeth, counterintuitively, this is not true for fiber reinforcements. Physics and reality beat marketing hype every time. We refer to the work of recognized material scientists. As the famous material scientist J.E. Gordon explains, we do not want too high of a bond strength of the fibers to the resin. Although having high bond strengths might increase the flexural strength of the fiber reinforced structure, it has the very unfortunate side effect of creating brittleness. J.E. Gordon explains that we want the fibers to have a bond to the resin that is not too weak and not too strong. This allows cracks to deflect when they reach the fibers, which absorbs energy and prevents the rapid propagation of the crack. Ribond has an ideal mid-strength bond to the composite resins that maximizes its fracture toughness. A good example of this phenomenon is safety glass in windshields. A thin film of plastic is placed between the two panes of glass to act as a weak interface that redirects and blunts the energy of the crack from transferring from one sheet of glass to the other. Perhaps a more appropriate example of this phenomenon is tooth enamel. It is very common for tooth enamel to have cracks that have not propagated to a point in which the tooth has structurally failed. Each enamel prism is surrounded by a protein sheath. These protein sheaths create relatively weak bonded interfaces between the enamel prisms. These relatively weak interfaces blunt and redirect cracks, making the enamel fracture tough. If there was a strong bond of one enamel prism to the next, the tooth enamel would be brittle and our teeth would shatter with relative ease. Ribond, a fracture tough material. The unique combination of Ribond's super tough bulletproof fibers, patented lock stitch lena weave, and bondability characteristics make Ribond the most fracture tough fiber reinforcement available to the dental industry. This chart demonstrates the fracture toughness of Ribond versus a glass fiber reinforcement. Fracture toughness is measured in these charts by the gross area under the curves. Although a glass fiber reinforcement might have higher flexural strength, you can see how the gross area under the glass fiber curve is significantly less than the curve under the ribbon. For those dental professionals who wish to learn more about how fibers strengthen dental resins and prevent fracture failures, more in-depth explanations are available at our website, ribbon.com. Go to Resources and then go to Fiber Comparisons. Some marketers of glass fibers claim that it is possible to polish glass fibers, but it is not possible to polish ribbon. This is partially true, but it is misleading. Because glass fibers are brittle, they can be cut with a burr at the same rate as the composite resin, leaving a smooth surface. Ribbon is a fracture tough material and a burr will not cut it at the same rate as cutting the composite resin, resulting in fuzzy exposed fibers. However, polishing really means cutting fibers, just like you would not want to climb a mountain using a rope that has been cut, you would not want to reinforce resins with cut fibers. In other words, it is not a good idea to polish any type of fibers and expect them to effectively reinforce composite resins. Indefinite Shelf Life Another unique feature of Ribond is that it has an indefinite shelf life. Most competitors have a shelf life of around two years. This is especially beneficial and cost-effective to dentists who might not use fiber reinforcements frequently in their office. Commonly Asked Questions Can I touch Ribond? Yes, after it is wetted with resin. Before it is wetted with resin, use metal instruments to manipulate the Ribond. It takes no coordination to remove the ribbon from its packaging with tweezers, cut it, and wet it with resin. Once it's wetted, you can touch the ribbon with your fingers or latex gloves. What do I wet the ribbon with? Wet the ribbon with an unfilled bonding resin that does not contain a dentin primer or acid etchant. These added chemical components will have an adverse effect on the cured resin if not thoroughly evaporated from the wetted ribbon. A list of suitable resins for wetting the ribbon can be found at our website www.ribbon.com. Go to Products and then click on Resin. When I use Ribbon, it moves out of place when I adapt it. Like packing retraction cord, it is important to adapt the Ribbon without displacing the Ribbon that has already been placed into the composite resin. 
while holding the adapted piece of ribbon against the tooth with your finger, place the unadapted ribbon into the interproximal contact with an instrument. This is shown well in the instructions for making a periodontal splint. How does the ribbon cure? Just like any fiber reinforced resin structure such as a boat hull or tennis racket, the fibers do not cure. It is the resin that cures. The resin provides the stiffness and resist compressive forces. The fibers provide resistance to tensile forces and stop crack propagation. What kind of fibers are these? Ribbon is made from ultra high molecular weight polyethylene fibers, the same kinds of fibers that are used to make bulletproof vests. Why can't I cut the ribbon with the scissors that I already have? Ribbon fibers are so abrasion resistant and so fracture tough that they are used for making bulletproof vests. When the ribbon is cut, it is important to always have a clean cut without leaving any stray uncut fibers. Most scissors simply cannot cut the ribbon, or if they do cut it, they leave stray uncut fibers. The advantage of ribbon's fracture tough fibers is that, unlike brittle glass fibers, it is extremely unlikely that the ribbon fibers will break during clinical use. The disadvantage is that the material is difficult to cut and most scissors will not cut the ribbon. How strong is the ribbon prosthesis? Structures fail where they are weakest, not where they are strongest. The most likely mode of failure of a ribbon prosthesis is debonding or wearing away of the covering layer of the composite over a long period of time. Can ribbon be polished? No. Fibers do not polish. Polishing fibers means cutting the fibers, and just like a mountain climbing rope, it defeats the purpose of using fibers as a fiber reinforcement if we were to cut them. To make a smooth and comfortable ribbon prosthesis for the patient, cover the ribbon with flowable composite. How does ribbon compare to other fiber reinforcements? Ribbon is the most manageable and the easiest to use. It is the most fracture tough, durable, and longest lasting. Unlike other fiber reinforcements, Ribbon has an indefinite shelf life. Man. She sells seashells down by the seashore. Special scissors. Can I touch it? <laughs> Special scissors.